Hello, and thank you for listening to the webinar, Promoting Your Practice Online with a Limited Budget, brought to you by my marketing team and Premier Academy 360. Premier Academy 360 is a comprehensive training and education service for VSP network doctors and staff. Premier Academy 360 offers effective and actionable education that's credible, simple, and results-driven, and is provided at no charge to you. It includes workshops, webinars, resource libraries, and e-learnings. You can visit learnacademy360.com for more information. For those unfamiliar with my marketing team, my marketing team is a benefit for VSP Global Premier Program Practices and provides you with a dedicated team of marketing professionals. In response to the COVID-19 crisis, MMT is providing tangible, crisis-relevant tools and resources to continue supporting private practices through this pandemic and into the future. Our goal is to help address some of the business concerns by providing tangible marketing resources and materials that will help you stay connected to your patients and your communities. My marketing team delivers newsletters with marketing materials, promotions, and tips to keep you up to date with social media trends. We share content and tools to help you save time and create fresh and engaging marketing materials to share with your patients. We also offer monthly educational marketing webinars like today. And during this time, we have pivoted our regular efforts to provide support for the COVID-19 crisis. My name is Danae LaFranc and I'm a digital marketing professional. I manage the provider facing social media strategy and websites, including paid ad strategies at BSP Global. I received my business marketing degree from San Diego State University and more recently a master's in business administration from Cal State Sacramento. I have a passion for working with small businesses to improve their customer experience. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way that businesses, both large and small, are operating. More than ever, it's important to have a strong online presence and stay connected with your customers through digital channels. In this webinar, I'll be covering how to create a social media advertising strategy, a step-by-step -step guide to social media advertising, local search tips, and other creative, low-cost ways to expand your reach online. This webinar is part of a series of webinar resources designed to help your practice in response to the COVID-19 crisis. We'll be looking specifically at advertising via social media channels, primarily Facebook and Instagram, and other creative ways to reach your community on a limited budget through local online publications. With organic reach declining, it's important to be comfortable with social media advertising. Social media continues to be a great way to build connections and also push out updates and relevant information that people are seeking. Social media advertising, like Facebook and Instagram, is a low cost advertising strategy in comparison tr to traditional marketing tactics like flyers, billboards, or print. Now with social dis distancing measures in place across the country, it's important to use social media and get comfortable as a way to keep people updated and informed. It also allows you to strengthen your ties in the community and helps you reach your target audience. To start, it's important to think about what your practice goals are. They may have shifted to recently accommodate this new normal. What do you want your patients to know right now? It might be things like office updates, new cleanliness protocols, types of services offered, or basic information like how to reach you. Also, what actions do you want your patients to take? Do you want them to visit your website, schedule an appointment, maybe place an order for contacts? Also think about what you want your community as a whole to know about your practice. What makes you different? What does your practice specialize in? And what makes you the eye health experts in your community? It's important to not only think about your current patients who are probably following your social media channels, but also your community as a whole, as you can use social media advertising to target new patients. After you've established your goals, be sure to audit all of your online channels for current information. This is important because your social media ads will likely drive traffic to your website, Facebook and Instagram, BSP Find a Doctor directory, Yelp and Google. Your website acts as an information hub, so you want to make sure that all that information is up to date and accurate. Lastly, create content that ladders up to your goals. 
Part of this series of webinars includes topics around social media content during COVID-19, featuring premier program partners like Maui Gym and iDesigns, which will focus more on creative, creating effective content, media, content for social media. The My Marketing Team website has a library of content for you to leverage in your practice, as well as a social media calendar, which can be found on mmt.vspproviderhub.com. Once you've established your goals, it's time to create some social media ads. The great thing about social media ads is a little can go a long way. As I mentioned, organic reach is on the decline. This means that business posts that do not have any boost or promotion behind them are not performing as well, just due to the sheer volume of content that's online on social media. Social media ads allow you to reach a greater audience online by targeting specific demographics, get more followers, and ultimately increase patient flow and sales. The content that you are promoting is extremely important. Facebook has guidelines around what types of images will work best, for example, the imagery should have little to no copy or text on it. You want your post content to be short and sweet with a clear call to action, linking out to your practice website or online appointment scheduling tool. It can even be linking to a blog that you have on your website that talks about eye health during COVID-19. You can create a shortened link using either Hootsuite or a website like Bitly. As I mentioned, sharing a captivating photo or video is extremely important. Try capturing some nice photography in your practice with, with your eye doctor or optician or products in your practice. Once you have your content all solidified, it's time to post. You would first post to, post to your practice Facebook page like you normally would. Then use the option to boost your post. You can boost for as little as $1 a day. Before selecting your audience, make sure that automatic placements at the bottom is turned on. This means that Facebook will place your ad across all of its different apps to get more bang for your buck. This includes Instagram. So if your practice has an Instagram account, this is particularly useful. Next, click edit for people you choose through targeting. As I mentioned previously, ads are a great way to expand your reach beyond your current following. Step three, we'll start with location. You can either choose cities or zip codes. In this case, I chose to list zip codes surrounded, surrounding my practice because I'm in a densely populated area. For location, it's best to capture a large reach and Facebook will give you an indication that your audience is a good size. You want to stay in the green, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, so your audience isn't too narrow or too broad. If you can lean towards more broad, that is ideal, because in this case, we are going to further define our audience. In step four, detailed targeting may be something you want to consider depending on your ad. In this case, my ad is promoting VSP individual vision plans. So if a consumer does not have a vision plan and your practice is enrolled in the individual plans doctor program, you can let them know that your practice offers same day enrollment through VSP. Given that, I'm going to further target small business owners because they may not have vision insurance, as well as retirees who may not have a comprehensive vision plan. You'll see on the bottom that Facebook is now telling me that the audience I have selected is too specific and may not reach enough people. Fortunately, they have an option for suggestions. By clicking on suggestions, I'll see what other demographics Facebook recommends I include to broaden the audience. Depending on the suggestion, I'm gonna go through and select the ones that make sense until the audience is broad enough. The great thing about creating a social media ad is they are extremely cost effective and you can select your budget. You can also set your duration. So maybe you have an event coming up that you want to promote. You can promote through the event date. The more time, the better to run your ad and give it a chance to succeed. So be sure to plan ahead. As I mentioned, the minimum budget is a dollar a day. The more you spend, the more people you reach. So once you have done this, you can go ahead and click boost. 
Thanks to Facebook and Instagram Insights, you'll get a detailed summary of the performance of your boosted posts. You can head to the Insights tab on your Facebook business page and click Posts. From there, you'll see a breakdown of all your posts, including the boosted ones, in terms of reach, clicks, reactions, comments, and shares. You'll also have the opportunity to boost other posts if you haven't already. Overall, by investing a little bit in your marketing spend on social media advertising, it's a great way to stay connected with patients and expand your practice's reach in your community. Now I'll talk about some other creative ways to expand your reach online with a limited budget. You can consider reaching out to local online news publications or local business associations. This includes including any location announcements and updates, and also eye health features or just an introduction to your practice. In today's media world, most or all print publications have social media channels that they use to promote their content. These are great ways to increase your exposure in the community and also stay connected. In this example, I Center Optometric here in Sacramento connected with a local community publication called Downtown Grid Sacramento to introduce themselves in their new downtown location. You can also consider turning one of your eye health blogs on your website into a feature for a local publication. This gives you the chance to be the local eye health or eyewear expert in your community. Also, you can think about building connections with other small businesses in your community, which can also lead to more opportunities to promote your practice. Maybe by promoting another local business in your area, they'll also promote your practice. Lastly, once you have mastered online publications and building connections within your community, you can consider connecting with a local influencer who will promote your practice. Why influencers? Influencers are a great way to expand your reach to their followers. You can increase awareness of your practice in your community, and it can also be a low cost way to promote your practice. Consider giving the influencer maybe a pair of sons or having them come in for their appointment and having them record their experience. You can consider who your target demographic is. So if you're looking to target more millennials or bring more millennials in your practice, consider using a local influencer that is in that age range. Lastly, these are some action items that you can take with you. First, remember to establish your practice's goals. Then use these goals to create ad-worthy content and imagery. Be sure to leverage the resources available on the My Marketing Team website. Then get comfortable boosting your posts and seeing how they're performing. You can also expand your skill set by using resources on Facebook. And lastly, reach out to local publications, influencers, or businesses to share your content and spread the word about your practice. Thank you so much for tuning into this webinar. You can bookmark the My Marketing Team COVID-19 Toolkit at mmt.vspproviderhub.com. Be sure to follow the VSP Providers Facebook page for the latest updates. Lastly, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to my marketing team at vspglobal.com. Thank you so much for your listening.